We're getting started here on page Reish Zion. So we got through yesterday. Looks like we're doing numbers on sevens. We're doing like seven Bliyan Hara. So it says, Hani Gavone, these colors, Eilu Shnei Rogbonim, Lovem Ve'edem, Shehem Shtei Bechinos Chesed Veden, Kama De Nahan Rechle Be'it V'Dereshen, Kamo Shehem Me'irim Ba'oidim Ba'atarem, Matarem, so when they're still crowning, in other words, they're outside of Roshel Zer Anpin, so the Or Makif, they're an Or Makif, Shal Arbach Abamokim Chach Babin the Chasad of the Gavurs the Das, for all the Babakolach the Gotha, and Misham from the Prish position up above the top, uh, up above the head, on top of the head. I'm assuming that it means that there's some sort of a tzimtzum a or uh, his mouth is the light as it goes through the head, but he doesn't deal with it. So anyway, it's outside, it shines in. And it's small, and then you could see that the light is coming in from up above, that there are actually two lines to it. So, so then the same way, you have the same thing goes through the entire body. They go through the entire body of Zeranpin. Uh, one second. Uh, that is is small. Now he says it's ha'ara from it, so it's like a secondary part that moves down. The gufa is achi b'huva hakuf of zeranpen. Miss aches b'chem it it holds on to them. The nikur b'kol gufa shnei kavim shal yamin is small, and this as a result of it, I guess they attach themselves to what he meant. And therefore, you see that it runs, that you have these two lines, which are right and left, which is also red and white, or white and red. In other words, that closed up uh, entity uh, in Penibius called Eric Anpin. He said, so there, the word has an aleph in it instead of the instead of the hey. Lo niskano, don't plan or don't prepare different strategies using a uh, an aleph. Shonatzakan v'huk rochav v'chalyado because through it, pu'ulas shonos zumbazu. So you can't see them. You can't see you can't see how they're set up and how they're put together. That is shal chesed v'din v'lo yach in lay. And they're not beautiful, uh, these, uh, the actions of Din. Because there's no such thing as a separation there. And at the area of uh, Eric Anpin, there's no distinction that you could see between right and left. So therefore, joy comes out for everything from that place. Life for everything. There's no din that depends on it. It doesn't come out from it. Even for the Rishoyim, from that place, that's not the that's not what's going on. It's only one thing. There you say, for him, Lo for instead of not uh, is uh, alilos. Here it says that he's definitely going to do that. Bevav ki vada yesh baruch shonos because there certainly are different kinds of actions that it has to do, as he explained yesterday, that you, in order to be able to go in, particularly the side of of uh, the penetrate the side of gavura, you have to have different strategies. The pamim chesed, the pamim din. Sometimes it's one way, sometimes it's another. But beside the mochim, the chadas, but the side of the mochim, then that middle line of his pashtim, both b'shnei kavim, which winds up spreads, uh, spreading into the two different lines. Yom and his small shehem chesed v'dan. Now we're going to talk about another area, and we're going to talk about the saros of the rosh of zeranpin, the hairs at the head of zeranpin. Let me see what I could do about this light. This light is always a problem. Okay, let's go. But Gugolta the Rash of Gugolta shall roast their onpin in when we're talking about the skull, the head is their onpin, Talian call Enan Rabavan the Alfin Mksu and Mikutse Disari. Translation Tuluyan from the head of Zeranpin. 
uh, hang down. So he says, what comes down from the head is this tremendous number of hairs, which are called kutzim. The inin ulkomim, shehem shcherem, they're black. Kadesh komoshin amar like yisech of kitz voisav al til tal taim shcherdos kaurev. So they're hanging down black like a raven. Umistab kim dal bedo, and they're also tangled. So he said v'achidun dal bezu, and they also are attached to each other v'achuzim zebazen. So now it's describing the hair of Erica of Zeranpen. So what is it they're they're held together or they're holding on to an upper light that's running through them shall shore of the of the root of the hairs that are coming from cancer. So this is working its way down through the hair, this black hair, twisted black hair of Zeran ben Dema'ata Beresh, it's, it's crowning his head, and others on top of the head, that's Atech Beresh Zeran ben, that's this light that's coming from the Most High, I guess. Behem Neim Shachem Ma'aba, and the actual extension comes out from Abba. Memucha Chach Moshe B'Kasser. So he said, Ma'aba, let's go back and let's see what he's saying. He said, we have an Abba that we understand is not this Abba, this is an Abba that's coming from the Moloch HaChachma Shabbat So the Moloch the uh, Stima is the Chachma of, of that uh, Kasser, I guess. And uh, it's also called Abba. Hanikra Abba. So therefore they're actually attached to, and they come out from this Moloch HaChachma from the Moloch HaChachma in the head of Zeranpin. This here ma'aba, hamakaba la'ara ma'aba the chayne b'shorish mu ha'chach b'shor b'kaser. So he says it gets this. I'm not sure that I understand exactly all this different part here. So at first I thought he was talking about Eric Anpin, and he's talking about the mochstima. So then, therefore, they want to call it Abba because it's the chachma of Eric of Eric Anpin. Now I'm not sure what he's not talking about. That I think he's talking about Zer Anpin. Let me go back over to where, uh, in the right column, where it says, May Abba Mimucha Chokmash Bekasser. But I think he's talking about uh, Zeranpin, Hanikra Abba. The Gemo Kane, in the same way, Hey Nechazim Viyazim Mimucha, Mimucha Chokmash Besocha Rosha Zeranpin. So the same way that they come out of that Chokma, the also same happens in Zeranpin, that somehow the Chokma, which Chokma is, uh, is he talking about? This here may Abba that's shining out from this Abba Makabal Ha'ara may Abba the Chayne B'Shor Shmucha Chach Moshe B'Kasser. That is that they're getting this light. It's coming to Abba, but it's actually coming from the Chachma that's in Kasser. The Basar V'La'Acha Shad Sam Shad Samchu Hasa'ara Sanikroim Kutzim. So now he says that this Ha'ara, whatever it is, what's causing them to come out is this Chachma and Kasser. The Kasser, I'm sure, I'm, I think he means the Kasser of Zeranpin. Uh, which is receiving possibly from another Kesser, the Kesser Verakam, but I'm not sure. So now that the Saras are growing, which are called Kutzim, which comes out as a result of the power of this Muach Achachma, this is, this is the inside of it, what's causing it to grow, or the energy source, so then there, once this starts, then you start seeing that there's another kind of hairs, which are called nimin. Which are coming from the left side of the, uh, of the brain of Zeranpen. So now we're talking about Chachman Bina and the Rosh Zeranpen generating two different kinds of hairs. And they're one on top of the next. These we, Normally we use the word nimim to refer to bundles of hair. That's what we've done in Eric Anpin. Here we're using the word kotsim and nimim. So I said, nimim al nimim al gav, nimim al gav, nimim beribuim. And there's just, they're piled on top of each other. There's just so much of these hairs. So these nimim, they also come out, and they're coming out with a light, 
min ha'or shal shorash muach habina, from the light that's coming from its root, or the root, which is called which is the muach habina in zer anpin a nikra ima shubekaser. Then this is the ima that's in the kaser. In other words, I, I, I'm understanding that this abanima that he's talking about is he says it's in the kaser, meaning I'm thinking that he means that it's that it's uh, actually one of the tens, the two of the ten spheros of kaser. Uh, uh, but he says it's this seems to be a contradiction because it says in the muach habina. Hanikra Ima, she is the Ima, Shabakasar, Hamis Atar, Barosh, which is crowning on top of the head of Zeranpin. Okay, so this is something outside, not some or something we're are we going to the idea like this, is that since you have the shining going on top of the head of Zer of Zeranpin, that's what we're talking about. It says that was shining in these two lines, and as a result of that you have a Hachman Bina outside, and then you're gonna have the Moach of Hachman Bina. Maybe it really starts on the outside and comes inside. So I'm not quite sure that sequence. Um shar muchi, bukmokain, uh uh mekoch shar hamochim, and so certainly from the power of all the rest of the mochim, shahim chasad the gavur shall muachadas, which would be the middle line. Okay, it's outside and it's inside. Yotzim achikach or uh od saras, and this brings out another more here. And now we're talking about Mochi and Bina Das. The Mochi and Bina we call Nimim, and Das he hasn't put a name on it. He says, Achidim is top king be Eden Sari. Heim Achuzin, so they attach themselves, and the staff of him and start tangling themselves, but also Masadars with the hairs. Now the hairs came from Abba, and these are coming from the other, from the other two. The Achidim by Abba, the Achuzim. Which is the Mulachachma. So, Shehem uh, Samku Techila, because they originally grow. So, they, that's the part that grow, uh, they grow uh, at the beginning, the Kotzim. So, why is it that the Mulach of Das and the Mulach of Bina are entangled up and hanging on to the Mulach of The Mulach of Das and the Mulach of Bina are entangled up and hanging on to the Mulach of Bina, who begin the Inun Lefish, Ein Has Aras Roser Anpin. Miss Arvin da Baza Miss Arvin Zebazen. I just said that they were tangled and struck together. Now he says the reason why we have this is because that that the uh the the Bina and the and, and the Das want to attach themselves to to uh, to uh to Chochmah, begin the in and the Fisha Eilah Sarsh Rosh their Anpin, Miss Arvin da Baza. They're mixed up. Miss Arvin Zebaza. I read it wrong. It was the Mistavkim da Baza, and then they get tangled. Mistavkim da Baza. And the Kaven Shahim Murava, the Gluldam Zerabazer, and since they're all messed up and they're all tied together, the Kach Saras Arachma, Hena Ikershebechem. So therefore, the Chachma is going to be the most important part of them. Kishor Shas Aras, Hem Chachma, because I think he's saying this is sequentially. The saras come from Hachma, so it's there first. The became the saras kolulim, but saras a Hachma, since everything is already in Hachma. The lechach the kuchu mochi, but saras shall call a mochi. So all the rest of the hairs that come from the other two kinds of mochi, he says a chidin bebegol to rabbi mochi lo, a chuzim heim begugol shall Eric anpin. So this is throwing Eric anpin in before, but he said that the light is really. Coming down originally from Eric Anpin, but Muacha Elyon Shabo from his upper Moach, which is producing hairs coming down, and Nikra Mukhus Dimov in that place. Shuhu Hashorish, the Muacha Chachma, Shel Sharcha Mochim, because that's where all the Chachmas come from. So he wants to say, <laughs> the way I understand it, you have three different things going on. You have the Mochim inside, you have the Mochim that are outside, that because that's what comes first. And then you have also the the shefa that's coming from probably the hairs on the gugalta of uh, Eric Anpin, which are produced as a result of the energy from the mochstima of Eric Anpin, which is chachma, and it sets the pattern for all the rest of the chachmas. That's the way I understood that. I don't know if I did, but I thought, I thought I did. V'kuhu v'kol eilach sa'aros and all of these hairs. Mashichan, hein sinuras, they are actually channels. Hamoshkim Shef of Ahara. So we know that, that they're actually pushing down or spreading out uh, Shef and Ha'ara. Ismashkan Metlas Chalali the Mucha. 
והם נמשוכים לאקסטנד עד ועוברים דרך שלוש חולון לרמוח אחידה במלכי. נאלץ את האחוזים במוח שבתוך החלולים. Now, I am not sure that I'm following this again. Now, the flow that we come out, it comes out mitlas chololi democha. So we understand there's three chambers in the skull. Vehem ne'em shachem ve'ovrem derek shlosh chololi democha. So he explains that they go from there, they come out from there. It sounds like there's some kind of a barrier there. So it sounds like to me. So ve'ovrem, because it says they pass over or pass out of, I'm not one, but they go, they go out of their chololim. Achide b'mochi. So, uh, what, what, what hands on to the, uh, let me, let's see. So anyway, I'll keep reading because I'm not quite sure what I'm getting here. And they grab a hold of the mochen that are inside of the cholalim. So you have some outside, some inside, I'm not sure. So those that, that part that overflows, which I think is what he's saying, he mixes is still attached to what's inside of the uh, 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 of the chamber. Miss Arvim said, "Be said that Haino Oras Hamochen Shabitzad Yamim Im Oras Hamochen Shabitzad Small." Now that's not the way he said it. He said it. It is at the right and left when they start to come out. They grab. They 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 attach themselves the other together. Of the Saras Elo Shem Yamim is small, and then from the hairs themselves that are on the right side of the left side. All the Tamim of the Torah, which needs explanation, are all attached to that place. Now, uh, I'd like to read it again. Uh, from Kulhu, we call Eloch's Aras. Now we have the hairs. Meshichan Hamet Sinurus Amoshkim Sheva Vahara. So we know that. They come from and send out and pass over or through the Derech Shlosha Chalolah Hamuach. Achidin b'mochik, va'ochsim b'mochim shebetoch ha'halolim, and they hold on to those mochim that are. In other words, it's still attachment. Uh, that's where I'm. St- I, I'm still reading it the same way. Miss Arvin dal b'dov, and they mix in each other, and he explains that there, there are the right line and the left line at this point mixed together. B'dachia b'b'sava. So where did that come from? Is it called, where does it say? So there were Tamim, which are Tahor. This is the source of the, uh, the reason for the source. I think that's what Tami means. small. So then we also have the concept of the the tahora that's on the right side and the non tahora that's on the left side, So now we're talking about these tamim, not right? Uh, he says, So all of the concept of opposites, that's what I call it. He didn't call it that, he called them tamim. So, so I guess the origin of the opposites is the tom. I guess it's the one tom's not like the next. I don't know. The mishrashim besaras elu, and they root themselves in these hairs. So he says, "Verazer verachuzim, verazer verachuzim, and mishrashim becomes sodas of Torah." And in this are the sores sodas of Torah, steaming and misgalian, heim sodas stumim, veheim sodas hamisgalim shebenechem lachasigam. Now there's a couple of confusions for me here. One is, is he talking about the the? Uh, well, he just seems to want to say that outside of the of the mo, the mochen themselves, the two lines come together. He said that. Now I want to read this column again, and then he starts talking about opposites. Now he mentions tamim, so he says So he means ben one opposites kolomer. Uh, in these hairs, hein tamim tahara v'shel sa'ara sad yamim, and then the hairs are split into two sides, which would be tahor and and uh, and tame. And so he said, just as that as well, kein abakol inun tamim, abakol osa matamim sheish b'tayres all the tamim kagon. Uh, so he says, what tamim we're we talking about? And then he starts going through these opposites. He says, kasher b'pasul muta v'aser zachay v'chayim. So this sounds like dinim. So these are all different kinds of dinim. It's not this, it's that. 
and then, of course, are rooted in them the secrets of the Torah. Uh, those that are revealed, that are placed so that you can learn them, uh, like we're trying to do here. Uh, at any rate, that's the right side and the left side. That's the concept of opposites coming from this place in the in the uh, in the rosh of zer anpen coming out and manifesting in hairs. Begin kach and mishum kach should call tamer sodas a Torah because all of the tamim of the secrets of the Torah are chuzim bis arvus a rosh are holding on to the hairs of that head. Shasharshem min ashlosha mochem that the root of these are from these through mochem but the the chabad began b'sharsha ha mochem should be kaser k'moshar marno and also the mochem that are be So I'm thinking maybe I I I had a little trouble with the concept of kaser here. So maybe what he means to say is, is that that's the light that's on top of the mochen that are on top of the head as they're on pin, and everything is tied together. The gam shorsh on mochen, the shorsh and the mochen from the kasser, which is on top of the head as they're on pin. Uko moshe marno, like we said, the kach kuhum mochen ribizi, call the shlosh and mochen chach b'bein the das. All of these mochen im shorsh on mochen with their smart shorsh that are coming from the crown that's on top of the head as they're on pin. Kulim remozim b'ganoich Hashem elokacho. They all come out of these three words. Benochi Hashem Elokacho. He said, "Chabeshel the Saras the Dibras, Shehu Rosh Kaser Veshorish to call a Torah." So he says these three words, uh, which are Benochi uh, Hashem Elokacho, is the root of the entire Torah. Lekain Nir Mez Bechem Kol Amolchim. So therefore, in these three words, we understand that all of the Torah comes out from these Molchim. Now, switching around, we're dealing with hairs. So let's keep going. Kamadan Harin Beitra Deresha. Ki al derek shemeirim sharsha amochim bekaser shall rosh their anpin. So now they're in the kaser, the roshes their anpin, and they're shining there. The olim, and then they enter. Mishom nek nasim acher kach l'shlosh amochim chach b'bein adas. Okay, so he is lining up in the way that I was explaining it. You have outside and inside. Bechololah the gogolta and inside of those chambers in the skull. B'shlosh chololah ma gogolus. He says, "For the nimbus of Shikol Hamochim, the Shrashim, for the Mazim, because the Shorosh Zeranpin." So then we see all of the Mochim, all of them root are rooted in the Kaser Zeranpin, uh, uh, which is, in other words, receiving that light from up above on top of the head. Kach Gam Ramuzim, call the Mochim because of Rosh shall call a Torah. So the same thing, Anochiat Hashem Elokacho. He says that this of Rosh shall call a Torah. The whole red head of the, all, of the whole Torah is with the same idea. Is is that there's a kesser on the top uh, of Zeranpin, etc., going downwards. Kach Gam Ramuzim call the Mochim because of Rosh shall care, uh, shall call a Torah. So here's another raya. He says it's the kesser and the Rosh, the two different things. So what is inside, what is outside, shall I call the Torah, shall I know he abaya alokacho. So that wasn't a hundred percent developed out, but it's to- wants to show you. Let's see what else he says. Call inin kotsim akomim. So now we're going back to the kotsim again. All of these kotsim call osim sarosh shchirim and nikroim kotsim. So that's the first set that he talked about. Chafim v'talim the sinter de udnim, the mishnal shalim. So they hang down. Mechasim, and they wind up covering over the tzadas nayim, the ears. Kis aras, kis aras rosh zer anpin hey bebechinas dinim because they're nasty. They're the hairs, the black hairs of zer anpin are aspects of dinim. And mechasim is as azne zer anpin, and they cover over the ears of zer anpin. Why do they do that? Kadosh lo yishma zer anpin as tefilas as tefilas hamispalo v'lo yikabel as tefilasa. Now, what is it? I remember I read that wrong. He says, Kadei Shalo, that should not be able to hear Zer Anpin, the, the prayers of the uh, of the people who pray, below Yakabal as to be also, and they wouldn't, or, or a person who's playing, and uh, so they wouldn't receive his prayer, Mifne Avanaisa, because, in other words, the hairs act as a, act to keep the, the prayers of the wicked uh, from uh, penetrating. The whole Kim now. So this has been explained. The Gavarna Amada Rabbi Bi'arda Rabbi Idra Rabbi. So this has already been explained in the Idra. Idra Rabbi, to begin, Kach Ksiv, for this reason it's written. 
He read like this, So tilt your head. I guess this means get the hairs away from your head. Because by inclining the ear, downwards, then you'll see that the hairs re, uh, uh, leave the ear. In other words, they, they hang loose from the ear. So then you don't have to worry about the fact that the dinim and these hairs are going to be overpower this ear. But instead, you make a place that the tefillah could come into, but ozen zeranpin into the ear of zeranpin. Mikam akumno. So bikan hamad no chubiarno. So this is a place where we explained. Man the boy the yark uh the yarkim malka ud name the the kable, Misha wrote such a melech. We should be talking about zeranpin here. Shuhu zeranpin yita az no halav. He should incline or tilt his ear towards him. Kedai the kabel as to be lost to 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 receive his prayer. Yisal se beresha the malka. You saw there, you should organize Saras Rosh Hamelech. That's what you have to do. You have to get into the hairs of the head and organize them. Because there's a great Kavanos and Yehudim that you you can do that will allow this to happen. Also learning Torah and doing mitzvahs. Umaisim Taivim. Uh, the tshuva shleim and a complete tshuva, so on and so forth. He said, "V'yaf v'yifan lechas arim al udnoi v'yifne." So he should remove or clean off the saras me'al ha'ozna, but they're coming over the the ears. V'yachzirum achre ha'orif and turn them back to the back of the neck. V'al yedei kach yizgalo ha'nai as nayim, and this will cause the ears to be revealed. For Yishmale Malko Bakal Ma the boy, and now you can hear the king, everything that he asks. Vishmachabalakabamelak Shuhu Zer Anpin Azir Anpin can hear uh Ma Sha Yvakesh. Uh we have a little bit more time, we'll get a little bit more. He said but Bagusa this Ari, now there's a split, a part in the scalp and the hairs. The emsas arish of a rosh their anpin in the middle of those hairs, Miss Achadarahad Urko Barko da Atik Yamin. Yesham Derek Echod Haponoi Misaras. There's a plat path there that has no hairs. Uh uh Miss Aches Baderika Elyon, which is actually holding on to an upper path that comes from Eric Anpin. Shiba Emsa Saras Rosh Atek Yamim. So he says in the head of Yaki Yamin Shu Eric Anpin. Ki ma ki min ha derika elyon mayor Eric Anpin, because from the upper path. Zer Eric Anpin shines down, but to meet it continuously, the Derek Atachnon shows Zer Anpin to the lower, lower path of Zer Anpin. Miss Parsham Mine call Orchoi. And then from here, Amin Ha Derek Sheba Emsis Aras Rosh Zer Anpin, Nechlakos and Nechlakos Yotviyotsos call Hadrachim. So all of the different paths come out of this path. The Baku de Rabraisa, which paths are they? These are the paths shall mitzvah Zatara. Which is not touched by these black hairs. That path over there, the Eric Anpin, is Chalak the Taryag Drachim. It actually has 613 different paths that come off of this one path. So this costs about to the 248 and the 365 that we find in the Torah. So they also ultimately come down to the Sikh and Siddiquim in the next world. So these paths, they spread out into righteous people and they pour Shefa down onto them. Uh, can we do a little bit more or we're done? Done. <laughs> okay.